Hey everybody, Luke Gordon here, and today I wanted to answer a question I've been getting a lot uh, lately about vertigo. And the question is, can COVID-19 cause vertigo? And specifically, people are usually asking about BPPV, which is benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. Um, so if you've had a little bit of experience with that, um, I'm going to go through today and just kind of answer questions about could it be from the virus or something associated with like the treatment for the virus? And so I just kind of want to give you some background on that and answer some questions on that. So I did some of my own research, which I wrote down on some sticky notes here, and then I've got some of my own ideas to share as well. Um, so first off, um, when I did some research online, it basically says that one in five people are reporting dizziness or vertigo uh, after having COVID-19. And so I think what's uh, first off the bat, what's most important to differentiate is are you having dizziness or like lightheadedness or are you having vertigo, true vertigo? Again, talking about something like BPPV, which is the positional vertigo, which going back to that is when you have those little crystals inside your inner ear, the otoconia, that go into the canals, and then that causes you to have the sensation of like movement or spinning. So if you're not familiar with BPPV, I would watch some videos on that first, because I'm not gonna go into a deep dive now, but I do think it's important to know what that is, which I've got actually a really good video on that. I'll pop that up right here. Um, for you to check out. So if you think you have BPPV, watch that video because it'll give you some idea of if your symptoms are matching up with that. Um, and if they're not, if you're just having more like general dizziness and lightheadedness or you feel a little bit off, that might be something completely different. So when people are asking me, can COVID-19 cause vertigo? That's the first thing I think of is like, well, are you having vertigo or are you having lightheadedness and dizziness? Because that's very possible. Um, and so when you think about, you know, could COVID cause BPPV, I would say in general, no, I don't see any way that it could cause that because again, we're talking about that specific mechanism where those little crystals are floating out from where they belong, which is in your utricle and saccule, and they're floating out into your inner ear canals and that's causing your vertigo. Now there's several explanations then for how COVID-19 could cause lightheadedness, dizziness, things like that. Um, and I think you need to, again, kind of narrow that down to what are you actually having? Are you having a blood pressure issue? Are you having a heart issue? There's all sorts of things you could be having. Um, you could be having inflammation of like your nervous system because one thing that I think people really agree on with COVID-19 and potentially some of the treatments or preventative measures for COVID-19, I think you probably know what I'm talking about there, is that the spike protein can essentially cause inflammation and irritation in just about any system throughout your entire body. So if you look at specifically inner ear for a moment, um, can those little spike proteins, which tend to linger in your system for a long time, it seems like, um, can they irritate your inner ear and cause like something like a neuritis? And the answer to me would be, yeah, that's, that's definitely possible. You know, while there's no definitive mechanisms for a lot of these things, what we are seeing is that those spike proteins can just about go anywhere and irritate any tissue you have. So we see that as well with things like cardiac tissue and myocarditis, stuff like that comes into play. So could the inflammation of your heart tissue or of your blood vessels, could that be causing you dizziness because it's affecting your blood pressure? And I think, again, it's very plausible that that could be the mechanism. Um, uh, another one was postural orthostatic hypertension or tachycardia, excuse me, which is basically your heart's beating too fast. So again, all of these things are being commonly reported as they relate to COVID-19 and then possibly as they relate to some of the treatments or preventative measures for COVID-19 that are also kicking off spike proteins in your system. So I think there's a lot of things like that that can really, really be going on. Um, so I mentioned vestibular neuritis uh, or inner ear neuritis. You also want to uh, just kind of rule out something like Meniere's disease. So Meniere's disease is something different. Um, and, and again, when you're coming to inner ear stuff, if you really have questions and you're not sure what the problem is and it doesn't appear to be BPPV, I would definitely recommend you just talk to like an ear, nose, and throat specialist, so an ENT, or you can talk to your primary care um, that sometimes helps as well. Um, so again, that's kind of the that's kind of my explanation in a nutshell. Is you know, first off, do you have vertigo or do you just have dizziness or lightheadedness? If you have vertigo, again, let's look at BPPV and see if you can narrow it down. Which I'll link some videos at the end of this to help you narrow that down to to the canal and how to treat it and things like that. And if it's not that, if it's something else, then you've also got to look into that. Uh, one last thing I wanted to mention is that when it comes to like the treatment of all these various things that could cause dizziness or could cause lightheadedness, there's really no gold standard yet for that. And so my recommendation is that uh, I'm a big fan of naturopaths. My recommendation is start calling your local naturopaths and say, hey, have you had any luck treating people with like post-COVID 
uh, issues or post-COVID treatment issues uh, in terms of detoxing your system, getting the inflammation to come back down to a better level. And again, whether that's inflammation of heart tissue, blood vessels, nerves, the inner ear itself, it doesn't really matter because they're going to treat your entire system, get the inflammation down, get the irritation down as much as you can. So that's my last piece of advice is that find someone in your area who's uh, at least looking into treatments and hopefully has some experience and a good tracker track record with the treatments. So that's my video. Thanks for watching. Um, before you go, if you had any luck with treating these types of things post COVID, please uh, put something in the comments below because a lot of people will read those comments and then they'll, they'll pick up on your stories and things that have worked for you. It can be very helpful. If you have any other questions, please leave those below too. Um, and thank you for watching.